over at Heber Castle. Nothing Just the best books I've ever read in my life. I like that so far. So, so cute. Come on, sir. You win some, you lose some. Mm. Where is my parmesan? Mm. It'd be rude not to. Good morning. Welcome. Welcome back to another vlog. It is Sunday. Today is an exciting day, but I don't really know why. Fred's taking me on a date. Which I'm very excited for. Fred's taking me on a date, but I don't know what I'm doing. So I thought I could vlog. It's also a Sunday, like weekly reset. It's a common thing in all of my vlogs that I have stuff to do on a Sunday. So I thought, why not do it with me? I'm just doing my makeup. I had a lovely little lie in this morning on my days. It was beautiful. I wake up at like half six initially, but then I, then I fell asleep and then wake up at like eight, I think. And then I basically laid in bed until nine. Which, I know that sounds like, no, it's probably not a line to some people, but that is a massive line to me. Literally 90% of the time, I wake up and I have to get up, up immediately. So it was really lovely to just sit in bed for a bit. And I read my book. I'm reading Flawless by Elsie Silver, I think. So yeah, I read about 50 pages of that this morning. So it was lovely. Now I'm getting ready because Alexa, what's the time? It's nine something in the morning. It's 20 to 10. Fred's picking me up at quarter past 10. So I haven't picked out an outfit either. The other day we went on a date and it literally took me like an hour and a half to find an outfit because I don't know, I haven't been feeling super like mm, about myself recently, which is fine. It means picking out outfits is rather hard. My fake tan's starting to fade, which means my face is looking a little bit darker than everywhere else. Yeah, so I'm giving myself enough time to do my makeup not be in a rush and hopefully pick out an outfit and not be in a rush it's meant to be getting like slightly warmer this week and i am really not very happy about it i'm here for autumn like i'm settling in to autumn and i woke up this morning and i was too hot in bed and i don't like that i like to wake up and be like oh you know cozy cozy actually i was gonna say going back to books if anyone has any book recommendations, I really feel like I'm in a book, not rut, reading rut, but like I have read a lot of very similar books and it's not that I'm bored, I want something different to read. So if anyone at all has like recommendations for any sort of books, like that aren't romance or like, I want something more like Akatar again, because obviously there was a lot of romance in it, but it was all um, fantasy and just the best books I've ever read in my life. I know Fourth Wing's meant to be good and I've got Fourth Wing and Powerless and Reckless. So I've got them, to be honest, maybe once I finish Flawless, I might read Powerless and Reckless. I know there's also Powerful as well, so I don't know what order I need to read them in, but I definitely want to finish um, Flawless today. I have no idea what Fred's planning because I thought he was planning to take me to the cinema this morning. But then he was like, oh, but after the date, we can probably go see a film if you want to. And I was like, oh, Okay, we had a very quiet weekend, which I really, really wanted. But obviously now I'm like, okay, I'm ready to socialize again. I really need to get my eyebrows waxed. I've been getting my eyebrows laminated for the last like year or so. I don't know what it is, I don't know if it's my eyebrows, but the last like few laminations just haven't seemed to stick. Like they'll last like a couple of days and then it's back to like regular eyebrows apart from them being a bit tinted. So I'm thinking I'm gonna try getting them just waxed and tinted because obviously lamination costs a lot. I don't wanna be spending that much money for something to last like a week. So I'm gonna try and do that once my tans like really come off because obviously I don't wanna have just like stripes underneath my eyes. And where my tans come off. Also, I normally just fill in my eyebrows with eyeshadow. I've been doing that for years. Like I honestly can't remember if I've ever had proper brow products. I've never used brow, used brow gel. I definitely should because my brows like fall, I guess. I've used this palette, the Safe X Revolution Extra Spice. I love Safe. She's one of my favorite YouTubers and I've used her palette for years. I mean, this is 100% out of date, but obviously you can't buy it anymore. So um, I'm just gonna continue using it until it's literally run out. And you can tell, I don't know how to show you, but you can tell obviously my favourite shade. For some of them, I literally have not touched. Yesterday, I um, had a very cute little solo date to um, Black Sheep Coffee, and I took my laptop and I edited 
the video that's out before this one. I did this really cute little eyeshadow moment and I can't even remember what I did now. For anyone who still has this palette, and I'm gonna be my like little beauty gyro, gyro? <laughs> gyro for a second. I mixed cookie dough with running late. Really tap that off because I can be a little bit heavy handed sometimes with my, with my eyeshadow. So I try to be a little bit more gentle. Also my brushes are all from Boots and they all cost me like 20p so I know that I definitely don't have the best makeup brushes but you know they serve a purpose. Alexa what's the time? Also yesterday I did my eyelashes without curling them and it actually looked a lot better so I'm gonna do that again today. I used the Lash Sensational um, Sky High Oh, Maybelline Sky High Lash Sensational. I'm definitely running out of this, but mascara is so freaking expensive that I'm not getting a new one. Also, I've just realized, really, really, well, I've just remembered how dirty my mirror is, so I'm so sorry if you can just see how gross my mirror is. I've absolutely no clue what I'm going to do with my hair. It's been a couple days, obviously, since I've... What's happened? Um, my hair's really greasy, so I need to figure out what on earth I'm doing with it, really. But first, I have to wipe off my makeup around my lips. I cannot stand it. Here's the um, outfit I went with. How on earth am I going to show you? Cute. My washing machine is making an absolute racket. I'm going to make coffee. I bought um, the pumpkin spice flavoured Nespresso pods when we went to Blue Water the other day. By the way, I've not done my hair yet. I've done a decaf pod and my Nespresso pod. Oh, I have not screwed on my tripod well enough. Where do I put you? Okay, I've figured out my camera. Yeah, that's much better. Just excuse the washing. And excuse the fact that there's freaking heaven behind me. So, I'm going to have... I'm just gonna take it in my little Starbucks cup because I don't know if we're going straight away. I'm gonna presume we are going straight away as well. I've got my coffee in here and then I'm gonna do a little drizzle of the salted caramel vanilla sugar-free coffee syrup from the London Beverage Company. I literally do enough just to take like the edge off of the coffee, but I try to keep the taste. So I try not to do too much. The best oat milk in the world, hands down, Khalifa Farms. Just the most gorgeous. I don't know if it's great for you, but it tastes nice. So, you know, you win some, you lose some. Yeah, just yeah. It's not super sweet and I'm trying to be braver and get myself off like sweetener or sugar or anything. I'm trying to just stop drinking so much sugar and sweetener and try and Try and grow up, I guess. Anyway, let's make this bed. I need to put perfume on. I need to put deodorant on. Perfume, the Ariana Grande. I can't remember what this one is. It was in my vlog two vlogs ago I bought this. It smells glorious. Right, let's make this bed. We're going, I haven't got keys. We're going. I did in fact make the bed. And then I also did drink my coffee. But my camera died. Both my cameras have died. So the GoPro's all we've got left now. I don't know where we're going. I don't get to know where we're going. It's a half an hour drive though, so. We're at Heaver Castle. I've never been to Heaver Castle. This is so, cute and autumnal my outfit oh, can you take pictures of me yeah oh my gosh this is so i'm gonna post on instagram i do well yeah so well i'm so excited heaver castle <gasps> Yay! so this was the um the home of anne boleyn and her family i don't know who she was one of henry the eighth's wives oh um, how many wives did he have eight something like that yeah divorced beheaded died Elizabeth had survived. Maybe six. Oh yeah, he's Henry VIII, not Henry. He Henry didn't get that name because he <laughs> had his wives. Eight wives. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. This is so wholesome. We've decided we're gonna go to a, like a pub for lunch as well. So this is like even more wholesome. Oh my gosh, it's busy. Oh, look at that defender. Oh, thanks Fred. It's okay. So cute. Oh. 
Sir. It's actually such nice weather today. Is, I'm so glad I bought my GoPro because this is so easy to carry around. So how's the fit looking? Yeah. Fit's looking hard. Yeah. <laughs> We've literally been here what less than five minutes? Yeah. And my really? um my trousers are broken. So um she's just folded down. And we'll hope for the best. As long as my flies don't come on down, I should be fine. <gasps> this is so cute. This is so, so cute. I'm having so much fun. I was fun. thinking about if we were going to, I was going to do it so we'd come on like a weekday. But this is so much better. Yeah, 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 yeah. How cute. We just went in this like little crafty, oh, well, there's like a tent with loads of arts and crafty bits. I was trying to film, but it felt awkward. I felt very, um, <gasps> ear restore. She's wearing the ear restore. Um, I felt very awkward so I just stopped filming but I filmed very quickly. It's so cute. I think we should live in a castle. You know you can, you can buy castles in um, Scotland. Okay well like, that's where we're going. Because no one lives up there. So, so cute. <gasps> look at all the fishies! I'm absolutely terrified of fish. What? Like look how scary that is. Just because they can so easily eat you. What? <laughs> Sorry? Look at all the geese. And the duckies. <laughs> oh, oh! Look, there's a little ledge for them to get out. That's so cute. Look at that fish. Just like, look how close they are to the surface. Yeah. <gasps> oh, you can actually see their eyes. Oh, that's a big, that's a big daddy. Oh, just keep left. Oopsies. <laughs> <laughs> And there's the walk in you see a stroller. Um, Tourist attraction. Well, that's actually um Henry the Eighth stroller. I like that sofa. Oh, I'd have one of them. And what should that play? My eyesight is so bad I cannot read what that sign says. No, me neither. Okay, good. That's humbling. So down to nest, isn't it? to make you feel old, Mum. <laughs> We're going to go see some more crafty things. We are. Oh, I want a coffee. Oh, wait, there's kids in it, yeah. um. <laughs> I want to get a coffee or some sort of funky drink. Let's I'm go. I'm bordering on hungry, just to let you know. I'm like... Me too. Okay, I'm packing. I'm glad you brought the Misfits bar. Yeah, same. We got cloudy lemonade. Mm. There's so much option here, like... I was not expecting. Mm-mm. No. We were going to go to a pub for lunch, but no, no. There's, there's, there's definitely there's, enough option. Yeah, we've got... There's Greek food. Is it Greek? Yeah. Yeah. Greek, there's pizzas, there's burgers, there's hot dogs, yeah, there's barbecue, like a whole barbecue stuff. Thing. There's ice cream. I'm going to get Mr. to whip you to put in that, is for oh, sure. Are you... Okay, I'm gonna get the little the tub. Should we just get a um, margarita? The margarita then? Yeah. That looks so gorge. Tasters! You haven't got my head in it yet. I have, don't worry. Mm. Oh my days. Good? That was mm. so quick as well. No, it literally took less than two minutes. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Oh my days. Taste test. Mm. What up? Well, nothing bad. <laughs> it's all very salt burn. Oh, it is. It's very, very salt burn. Not to, you know, rain on Anne Boleyn's parade, but there's a wedding going on today and they're getting married there. And this is their view. Oh my God, he's got a red carpet and everything. That's crazy. Oh, look at the boat. We're doing a maze. This 
bit scary. <laughs> okay, well, we made it to the top. I can't wait for this all to be like Brian. <laughs> Brian. We got a club cone. I love a Mr. Whippy. I honestly think the flake is what makes it as well. Everyone meet Anna. Nope. <laughs> and Anne Boleyn. She's a cutie pie. We have unbelievably fallen and tripped. Tripped in into the gift shop. Tripped, no, tripped in over to HomeSense. Oh. It's yeah, pretty no. much a gift shop, isn't it? Though? Uh, yeah. But yeah, we're at HomeSense just in case, you know. It'd be rude not to. We're home. I've showered, I've done the everything shower from HomeSense. My um, GoPro died, it was a little bit annoying, but from HomeSense, I feel like this lighting is not giving. I got a pet candle, like neutralizes pet odor candle, which is brew. It's very lovely. I've now got three, no, two ready to burn. I started my next one today. I've got apple picking going, I'm freezing. Um, I'm gonna make dinner. I can't decide, I hate this lighting. I can't decide whether to make lazy dinner or like actual dinner i think i'm gonna make actual dinner last night i had um veggie spag bowl and it was lovely so i think i'm gonna remake that i'm not super hungry and i'm super tired so i'm not gonna make, make very much and then i'm gonna grab my journals and get myself all set up for the week it's been such a lovely day like i feel so lucky for fred and lucky for my life like of all the kind of sunday plans this one's this one took took the cake a little bit. It was really a lovely day. Let me put a jumper on. I want to wear my Taylor Swift jumper, but I'm about to cook tomato sauce, so I cannot. Fun fact about me is when I tell you anything that's light coloured, if I'm not remotely, well, no, if I'm not extremely careful, oh my gosh, are they? If I'm not extremely careful, it will go literally all down me. So when I cook um, anything that is like tomato sauce base or anything like that, I will make sure I'm not stupid about it. <laughs> anyway, so I'm gonna watch a film tonight, an autumnal film. I've been watching Gilmore Girls and love it, but I really feel like having a cozy film to watch tonight. I've just remembered I bought quite a few things from HomeSense, not just a candle, and I completely forgot to bring them in from Fred's car. Anyway, let's make dinner. I'm gonna watch an autumnal film. I'm thinking either one of the Harry Potters or... I don't know, I'm not very good at like going out, pushing out the boat. Pushing the boat out, I'm not pushing out the boat. I'm gonna watch like The Nightmare Before Christmas, but also is it scary? I don't really know like if The Nightmare Before Christmas is a good film to watch, if you get what I mean. Like I'm awful with any sort of scary film, so maybe I don't watch that. Dinner has in fact been made. I forgot that like, obviously I have to put the fan on. You couldn't hear me. I've put Harry Potter, The Prisoner of Azkaban on. I know it's not very adventurous of me, but you know, I like what I like. Dinner is looking very scrumptious. I accidentally did way too much mince though. So this is gonna be like mince with a side of pasta. I'm gonna sort out the laundry after dinner. I keep seeing it in the camera and I'm like, babe, sort that out. One of the things I bought today, where is my Parmesan? One of the things I bought today was a handheld cheese grater rather than like, rather than this bad boy. I don't like that, this bad boy. Oh, it really does not look very appealing. Maybe I don't show the vlog. Now I'm gonna show the vlog, but let me put the cheese on so then the cheese hides most of the ugliness. Dinner is looking positively ugly. 